Daily Video Journal, July, lies you tell. I think it's the 16th. I need to figure out my watch because it doesn't change over automatically. That's really strange. I said it yesterday, I said it back. It was a day ahead. It thinks it's the other noon. Oh my God, it's a freaking, I didn't realize this. It's an analog watch. Look how pretty, look, look how pretty. But it knows which one, <laughs> I didn't think about this. It knows which one's noon and which one's midnight. Oh my God, how am I, how am I supposed to know though? Like looking at it, like it ain't even numbers. There's no numbers, I should have to guess. Like even still, like how would I know? I have to, I guess I have to pay attention to like when the, uh, when the date switches over. Anyways, stupid. So it's July 16th, 2024. Uh, and I think we finally figured out what we're gonna do about my wife's car. So for those of you that don't know, Nissan's between certain years uh, with automatic transmissions. They don't have automatic transmissions. They have CVT transmissions. Like, I don't know what that stands for, but like we'll pretend it's like a uh, controlled variable transmission. Yeah, sure, why not, CVT. And, and basically what it is, is instead of like a series of, of gears of different sizes, normally like four different size gears uh, that it changes to as it goes up in speed, um, it has like these cones, these wedges, and these wedges fit together in a specific way so that like when you're driving, you can sit at like 2,500 RPMs and still accelerate and the RPMs don't change. And that's, I guess, to ensure like a smooth acceleration so you're not like that kind of thing. Anyways, so they're expensive and they go out. Like they, like Nissan knows. Nissan knows that they are going out. They've extended the warranty on them. Um, normally they fail sometime around 90 to 110,000 miles. They have an 84,000 uh, mile warranty on them. Ours went out at 90,000 miles. Go friggin' figure. So we've been looking for someone to fix it. Well, it's money I don't want to spend. I don't have the money. I don't have it. But I gotta spend it, because right now, the wife and I are sharing a car. She's driving me to work in the morning, then she's going to work, and then she's coming to pick me up, and it's like, not gonna work. Not gonna work for long. So, um, it turns out we found uh, a guy who will do the, uh, do the work, get us the transmission, give us a three-year warranty, and give us a discount because it's through, uh, because we have a police family. Um, $4,000. $4,000 for this freaking transmission. But hopefully we can get it done sooner rather than later. I'll keep up on the oil change stuff. Or not the oil change, the uh, transmission changes. I'll do it every 40,000 miles or so and that should keep it running smoothly for the next five minutes at least. And hopefully if it goes out again, it'll do so at two years and 360 days. Yes. So that's partially solved. Um, candles. So here's the thing. I make candles for my books and they're great. Love them. They smell amazing. They're super high quality soy coconut, very clean. But the problem with burning with, with selling candles is they burn and anything that burns that you sell, you have to have insurance on because if someone uses it improperly or the candle explodes or whatnot, which whatever, um, the business has to be covered. Wax melts, diffusers, any of that kind of stuff doesn't have to have it because you're not burning, you're not selling anything that burns, it just melts or it diffuses the scent. Um, so I'm spending like $55 a month on insurance. That's like most of my profits that I make because I don't sell very much. I'm like a little niche guy. Uh, so I am going to reduce the price of all my candles, get rid of them and Yeah, get out of the candle business. I'll probably switch to diffusers at some point, but for now, I need to start talking about it so I can get people to buy my stock up. But Making Man in the Mirror came out yesterday, my first personal development book, uh, in hardback, on Kindle, and on Kindle Unlimited, so anyone who wants to read it that has Kindle Unlimited can read it for free. For free. Hope people will do that. Uh, I'm very excited, it's very, very good, it's very personal, but it's also very, it's kind of mean in a funny way, but that's that. Like, I think today mostly I'm going to spend all my time trying to get some writing done because I didn't get any done yesterday. I was working on other bullshit, Just trying to get this place cleaned up after coming back from my vacation. So it's time. Uh, I'm losing weight, doing well, 
heading in the right direction, trying to get rid of this freaking caffeine problem. I'm waking up every day with a headache because I'm only having caffeine once in the morning and I'm not having any more else any time of the day. Um, I am convinced, I am convinced that Rockstar or any of these other freaking uh, energy drinks, I am convinced have something else addictive in them that I don't know or they're not listening or something. It's probably on there, but you don't realize it's addictive because I can go off an energy drink and as soon as I go off the energy drink, within about a day or two, I start getting headaches. But I'm still having caffeine. So I don't know what it is in the drink. It's not sugar, because I don't drink sugar. It's sugar free. I don't know what's in there that, that's addictive that makes me have this headache problem that's not caffeine, because you would think that that's all it is, but there's something else in there that's sneaky, that's addictive. And that would explain why no matter what I drink, like throughout the day, I still crave one. There's something in there. I don't know what it is. I know it's terrible for me and I'm trying to quit. So I haven't, I haven't wanted one, which is good, but I do know I can tell that my headache is a, haven't had a rock star. So anyways, that's it for the day. Uh, I'm gonna fix my watch because this is silly, but I know. <laughs>